All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you are a graduate, we'd like to ask you to report to room 105 right now. If you see a graduate, ask them to go to room 105 right now. Any of our dignitaries that we have that's going to be part of grand entry with a little bit of, it, of acknowledgement while grand entry is being done, we'd like to ask for you to please be over there so we can look after the list of names of people that need to be acknowledged for being here putting on this year's celebration. So first of all, let me start by saying thank you to all my brothers. I sat down with every one of these singers that are here at one time or another, and we all sang together at one time or another. So let's have a nice big round of applause for all our drums that are here, yeah. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drums. Who? Okay, each drum is gonna have to do one of the seven teachings. Hey, just kidding. <laughs> So with that being said, we're just gonna sit back and relax. We still got grand entry that's gonna be taking place. I don't know what clock to follow. 5.36, we're scheduled for 45. So nine minutes grand entry. All dancers, if you want to, you can start reporting over there in that back area, cause that's where grand entry is gonna be. Joe, I'm gonna wait. Go ahead. <laughs> so I'm gonna be back in about three minutes, and uh, by then we should have. Uh, da, 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 da. So in about five minutes, we're gonna ask all of our dignitaries and our graduates to make their way over here. Five minutes before grand entry, we'll get everybody settled. All our flag carriers. We're gonna take all the flags over there in five minutes. I'm good so far. Yeah. Okay. All right, all dancers, start lining up for grand entry right over there. All flag carriers, we're gonna ask you to report over there also. All veterans, we're gonna ask for you to report over there also. So all flag carriers, all veterans, report to the grand entry area. carriers, all veterans, all dignitaries, Eagle staffs are going to be leading the way. So we're getting set and ready for our grand entry. All our graduates are over there right now. All our dignitaries are over there right now. Corey Kipling, where are you at? Corey. All right, how many people we got here from Glen Lawn Collegiate? Make some noise. Hey, how about Dakota? Wow, that was louder. I need some more schools here, so somebody help me out. Who? Nelson Mack, make some noise. Hey, they have the least amount of people and they make the biggest noise. Hey, am I missing anybody else? Who? Windsor Park Collegian, are you here? Yeah, baby. 
Hey, hey, hey. I learned that from Austin Powers. How we doing, Wayne? Wayne is gonna need some tobacco over there to give to everybody that's in Grand Entry. So if we have tobacco, we need it at the Grand Entry area. Everybody has it? Oh, everybody has it already. All right, people, listen up. This is the way it's gonna go. Grand Entry. When Grand Entry starts, each drum will get a chance to sing. We're gonna stay in drum rotation. When that happens, we're gonna stay standing while one of our elders gives a prayer and gives thanks for today's celebration. After that happens, we are gonna acknowledge the Eagle Staffs and the Flags with the song we call the Flag Song. Following that flag song, we are gonna go into what we call a veteran song to acknowledge all of the veterans that are here with us today and the ones that are up there looking down upon us right now. How we doing, Wayne? What are you going to do with your life? I want to rock! Powwow style. Hey. How many people remember that concert? 1986, Winnipeg Arena. Hey, we got one right there. I was there. That was Iron Maiden with the opener of Twisted Sister. I remember that. I was in high school back then. How you doing, Cor? Are you stress-free? <laughs> Do we have any princesses or braves? We're gonna ask for you to get over there. Hi, girls, how are you? Hurry up, you're late, look at it. Run! Run like Jenny from Forrest Gump. Hey. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we'll start off with the Walking Wolf Singers. We'll make our way over to Dana. Uh, following that, we'll head over to Taz. Following that, Melvin. And then we'll head over to Mr. Myron. And then also uh, Darren. Uh, and then Roger over there. So we'll utilize all the drums. So we'll go 5-5, five, five, all right? And if we have to, we're good? All right, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that can, I'd like to ask you to please rise. Gentlemen, if you have any hats, I'd like for you to take that hat off in honor of the opening of the circle, which we call the Grand Entry. A lot of times, including today, we will honor our ancestors that are up there in what we call the spirit world. You might call that heaven, but we will honor them with the first verse of that song. After that first verse of that song has been sung, and then all of the staffs will lead the way. The original flags for us as First Nations people, especially right here in Treaty One territory, so for those of you that can, once again, please rise while we have our grand entry over to the Walking Wolf Singers.
All right, I'd like to ask you to please remain standing while we do our opening prayer. Wayne, I'm going to ask you to hold Jules's. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, at this time, Elder Jules Lavalley is going to help us out with this evening's prayer. Miigwech, miigwech, niket. Akina, nedenue maganak, miigwech. Uzawa, me meigwane nini, dijnekas, miigwech, kishimani tu. Ah, miigwech, miigwech, wabanong mo, shomis no komis, ah, miigwech. Shawanong mo, shomis no komis, miigwech, nigabi anong mo, shomis, miigwech, kiwait nong mo, shomis no komis. Ah, miigwech no komis aki, miigwech kiishik, akina, nidinuwe maganak miigwech. The name that was given to me by the grandmothers and the grandfathers is the sound of coming thunder. And I belong to the Martin clan. And this is a very, very special day to thank the great spirit, to thank the grandfathers and the grandmothers for this opportunity to celebrate the graduates of Louis Riel School Division. Apparently there's quite a few of them this year. I believe I heard 82 graduates, and I hope you're all here today, along with your family, to celebrate your, uh, your, your work and for graduating and going on from here to something just as exciting, perhaps, as what you've achieved today. So in my, in my prayer, I always honor not only the children, because within our children lives our spirit. And that as long as we have children in our life, we will always have purpose and we will always have meaning. And it is also important to see the grandfathers and the grandmothers gathered in this place and all the brothers and the sisters. We have gathered here today to listen to some of the fabulous songs that have been kept for centuries, sometimes for years and years, by the singers and the drum keepers. But also, we want to honor their talent and say Jimmy Gwech for all that you do when you're singing your songs and when you're sounding the drum it is the heartbeat of our people, and it is the songs of our people when we come to celebrate together. Akina nidinwe maganak miigwech. Thank you all, my relation. Aha. Thank you, Elder Jules Lavalley. At this time, we're going to head over to Redstone Juniors for the original national anthem for us as First Nations people. The Eagle Staffs are bringing every grand entry and lead the way. We acknowledge them with this song. Before we had the American Union Jack, Métis and Canadian flag, or any other flag, for us as indigenous First Nations people, for here of Turtle Island, this song to us acknowledged our original flags, which we call today our eagle staffs. It represented who we were, the community, the tribe, and the families that we belong to. A lot of times in powwows today, we have family members that have their own eagle staffs that we once had a long time ago. We acknowledge the family staffs that are brought to each and every powwow when we have them throughout Indian country. Some of the biggest powwows we have in Manitoba are traditional powwows. We can have four or five, even a thousand dancers, sometimes over 20 drums on a regular, consistent basis at some of the powers that we have. 
But once again, for us as indigenous people, our original national anthem, what we call today, is what you're listening to. And today we call that the flag song. You know, ladies and gentlemen, a long time ago, before we even had World War I, we had a lot of peace along this place we call Turtle Island. However, we did have some disagreements every now and then. Whether it had to do with jealousy, whether it had to do with hunting territory, we did have our disagreements. When we had our disagreements, sometimes a battle would take place. When that battle would take place, we would have fallen warriors. Those fallen warriors are what today we call the veterans. We honor them with that next song and the next drum, Iron Lightning. Dancers, honor those veterans and dance for them. We need a mic over there. This, this song that you're listening to comes from a drum group called the Black Lodge Singers of the, I believe, White Swan, Washington, right? They're a very well-known drum group throughout our powwow country. And they've always acknowledged the veterans and they know how to sing and compose appropriate songs for every occasion that takes place in the powwow circle today. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we honor our veterans that are here today in the Aboriginal Veterans Association led by a recipient of the Order of Manitoba, Mr. Joe Mekons. For many years, the Aboriginal Veterans Associations have been helping us out. We honor them with this song as people here 
in a place we call Winnipeg. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Let's have a nice big round of applause for all our dancers and our singers. All of you may be seated at this time. Dignitaries, please stay put. But what I want to do, dancers, you are all excused for about five, ten minutes. First of all, I'd like to honor, and it is my privilege, Aboriginal Veterans Association Eagle Staff, Mr. Joe Mekons, Order of Manitoba, just gotten that a couple years back. Let's give him a nice big round of applause. Yeah. Bringing in the Baptiste McKay family, Eagle Staff, Taz McKay, yeah. Bringing in the Red Willow Lodge Eagle Staff, Elder Jules Lavelle. Let's give him a nice big round of applause. Bringing in his family staff, the Musso family staff, Curly Musso. Bringing in the Canadian flag, Mr. Con Saunders, also a vet uh, for Aboriginal Veterans Association. U.S. flag, Nick Janakis. Please step forward. Métis flag, Hazel Inachuk. All right. Justin Peru bringing in the Union Jack. Now I'm going to hand the mic over to our host of this year's powwow to do our dignitaries. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here at Glenlawn. I just want to introduce some of our dignitaries here today. Uh, so we'll start with our uh, graduate that we're honoring from 2012. His name is James Harper. He is just graduating from the University of Manitoba. Nice to have you here, James. Also, we have school trustees here today. We have Sandy Nemeth, Trustee Parker, Trustee Landry, all here joining us today. Please come forward. We have MLA from St. Vitale, Colleen Mayer. Can you just shake hands? Sorry. She's going to shake hands. <laughs> MLA from Radisson, James Tesmuth. Uh, we uh, also, we have uh, the Honorable uh, Rachel Squires also with us. Welcome. We have a uh, counselor from Pine Creek First Nation, Cindy McKay. Uh, from our admin team, our superintendent's team, we have assistant superintendent Lisa Aiken, Marlene Murray. And our superintendent, Dwayne Brothers, along with Josiah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. We also have our scholar in residence, Frank Deer. Such a good guy. <laughs> um, also, we have our LRSD Community Core Council. Thank you for all the work that you do. I won't name you individually, but you're honored here today, so thank you for being here. And of course, the rest standing are our graduates. We will get to in a moment. So grads, come on forward, and we're going to line you up here.
We're going to have a few uh, people bring greetings today. So, Colleen, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Uh, family, students, everyone who's part of the Louis Riel School Division family, thank you for coming here this evening. Before I begin, I want to acknowledge that we are gathered on Treaty One land, the traditional territory of the Nishinaabek, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, Dene people, and on the homeland of the Metis Nation. On behalf of the Honorable Brian Pallister, Premier of Manitoba, the Honorable Ian Wishart, the Minister of Education and Training, and my colleagues at the Manitoba Legislature, thank you for having us here. I'm proud and honored to stand before you to bring greetings at uh, this community powwow. It's wonderful. The powwow is an exciting celebration held in honor of these graduates. Look at them. Let's give them a round of applause. Aren't they wonderful? Congratulations to all of you. I want to take this opportunity to convey my, my sincere, sincere gratitude for the Louis Riel School Division. I appreciate how our school division is working to promote and support Aboriginal cultural programming to all students and staff by integrating Aboriginal history and perspectives into the curriculum. It's wonderful and thank you very much for doing that. I'll leave you with just a words of how emotional it is to stand here and listen to the drums and look at everybody who's here. It means a lot to this community. It means a lot to me. So thank you once again, and please enjoy yourself and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you. And now James Tightsma will come in and give a few words. Thank you, Colleen. Thanks, everybody. I just uh, want to say how excited I am to be here with all these amazing graduates. I think it's wonderful to see you all gathered and, and to see so much support in the community as well. It's a wonderful opportunity to reflect on our heritage, on our history, on uh, both the good and the bad that we see in our history. I was honored earlier today to meet uh, Hazel, who's, our, who's here with us, and she's a residential school survivor. I think it's important to be able to be reconciled to the history that we that we have and to to be aware of it so that we can also find a way to move forward because only by knowing our past can we really plan uh, our future. So, and looking at all these wonderful graduates today, I'm sure you're very excited about what your futures hold and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, thanks for being here. Thank you, James. And now Rochelle Squires. Thank you for being here, Rochelle. Hi, thank you. Good evening. Bonjour, Tanze. It's such a delight to be with all of you here. And uh, it's very special for me to be able to say to all these wonderful graduates, congratulations on your, this uh, remarkable achievement. And I want to uh, thank the Louis Rail School Division for pulling us all together for this in incredible powwow to celebrate here on Treaty One territory and the homeland of the Métis Nation. I really do believe that the path towards reconciliation is through the celebration of Indigenous arts and culture. And I know I recognize so many faces here from people who were at Manitowabi this past weekend. And it was an incredible show. There were wonderful powwows and a great Indigenous um, music awards and a celebration of Indigenous artists. And, and again, I, I'm really excited to be a part of a part of that and I believe that when, when, whenever we share one another's culture, whenever we learn about another uh, culture, we are stronger and richer for it and it pulls us together as a collective and what's, it's what makes Manitoba so unique as a, as a wonderful um, inclusive society. So again, thank you to the school division for pulling this all together. Thank you to all of you for being here as part of this wonderful celebration of Indigenous culture and most of all, congratulations to all you amazing graduates. Good luck and Best of luck in, in your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll hear some final words from Trustee Nemeth. Sandy. <laughs> we, don't, we won't go formal. That's okay. 
Thank you, Dion. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Louis Riel School Board, uh, Trustees Tom Parker and Trustee Josie Landry, who are in attendance, my warmest and sincerest congratulations to all of the graduates that are here this evening. We are so very happy for you and very honored to be able to share this event this evening. In a few weeks, you will bid adieu to your schools. Whatever comes next after grade 12, we wish you all the success in the world. Enjoy this evening. It's all about you, and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we have all our graduating students lined up here. At this time, what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask Corey, and for those of you that are going to be presenting our graduates and the representatives of the schools to make their way over this way, and we're going to call each individual. As we do, Wayne, we're going to line them up starting from here all the way around. So they're facing this way. Yeah, but they can stay here for now. But once they receive that, they go back in line. All right? And your name is? Lindsay Feener. All right. We're going to get you to line up over here, Lindsay. Just on the other side of the line there. Okay. Uh, representing the College Jeanne Sauvé, we have Ethan Courchain. And we have Sierra Cook. Our Dakota Collegiate graduates for 2017, Rebecca Mandeman. Shana Kulquat. <laughs> Michaela McNabb Mary. <laughs> Chasey Edel. All right, and for Glenlong Collegiate Graduates 2017, first up is Jared Fleming. Taz McKay. Rebecca Aldana. Ivy Roberts. <laughs> Naomi Banman. Larissa Zacharias. Sarah Latandra. Shaughnessy Allison. Jamie Nyhusen.
Amanda Cowley. And round us off is Blake Stuckey. Demi Andromedus. Taylor McNeil. <laughs> Montana Ledoux. <laughs> Kunbi Akinrira. Cassandra Harold. <laughs> Shell two Wade. <laughs> and Kaiser Halik. Next, next is the Louisville Arts and Technology Center, and it's Kara Hope Lazat. Congratulations. Thank you. And from Nelson McIntyre Collegiate, we have Giovanni Francis. Priscilla Fofa. <laughs> Reese Natchigal. <laughs> Katerina Ann Allard. From Winter Park Collegiate, Giselle Iracozzi. <laughs> Keegan Myron Prince. <laughs> Kelsey Dumont. <laughs> Gage Brown. Brittany Carlson. Nick Hrenyak. Liam Frame. Harry Yang. Renz Cruz. <laughs> Elisha Gayot. <laughs> Precious Uzo. <laughs> Wean Lee. <laughs> Sarah Orchard. Nicholas Sanmola, Mason Hall, Dylan Labuke, Brennan Bernhard.
Jessica Barkhouse. Sarah Rowe. And Jasper Oon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Let's have a nice big round of applause for all our graduates. 2017! All right, at this time, we're gonna ask all of you that can to please rise. We're gonna ask our arena director, Mr. Wayne Ruby, to lead all the grads one time around. Once they complete that circle one time, you will be lined up in a half circle and all of you family members can come up and congratulate all of our grads. Every drum group we're gonna use for this, so we're gonna go four, Melvin get four ready, and so on and so on and so on until this is done. All right, we're good to go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, at this time I'd like to ask you to please rise while we honor this year's 2017 graduating class. Buffalo Red Thunder, if you would, give us an honor song. First Nation, stand by. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it is no secret to us as First Nations people and for myself who's been working in the education system for 23 years. Today, not only at a grade 12, but also secondary level graduates of the First Nations descent is at its highest it's ever been. And for that, we know the problems that we face as First Nations people on the reserves that we belong to or the neighborhoods that we belong to here in Winnipeg. I was born and raised in Winnipeg's North End. A lot of the First Nations people that I grew up with did not graduate. For us, as a people, not First Nations, but as all people to honor, not just First Nations, but other people from other countries, other nations, and the successful education that they had here in this school division. So at this time, I'd like to invite all of you to make your way over here and congratulate our 2017 graduates. Come on down. All right, congratulations. Once again, we're calling upon all people. Ooh. Hey. hey, cousin. Hey, oh. All right, congratulations. Nice. It's going to take a little while, so you guys will have perfect handshakes by the end of the night. All right. Just go shoulder to shoulder, guys. There we go. Nice. Right on. That's good. You can stop right there and face me. Graduates, that's good. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Oh. All right. Oh, congratulations. Right on. Right on.
All right, Melvin, keep them going. Brown Bear, keep them going after the four. All right, guys, keep them going with an honor song, Brown Bear. Get a song ready after this four is done, followed by White Horse. Sage Creek, final drum. Wayne, get these guys to finish this off. Roger will have the first inner tribal. Hear that, Rog?
which you were excused after the final one and you shake each other's hands. Good job. graduating class 2017. In case you're wondering what's going on, take a look up there. You see up there, there's a couple cameras. They're gonna have one big group shot. So Corey is putting you where he wants you to be. He's trying to. Just gotta make sure everybody is in that shot. Smile, Taz. <laughs> Oi, everybody's looking up there. We're gonna count to 10, then we're gonna move on. 10, nine, keep looking up there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Say Nietzsche. Hey. <laughs> That means friend. Okay, we're good, Cor. All right, we are good in the travel time. White House is in the house. Here we go, White Horse, Roger Green, and the boys. In the travel time. Calling all dancers. Come on out and dance your style. All right, clear the dancing area at this time. I'm gonna ask everybody to please clear the dancing area at this time. Hastings School. I'm gonna ask Hastings School to come in a circle. Hastings, come over here, guys. Oh, okay, how many do we have? Come on over, all the dancers from Hastings. That's all of you? Okay, good. Hang on one second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last year, this young group from Hastings School was in, brought into the circle at first celebration we had over at Dakota. One of the dances that they learned, and it's gonna be a little difficult for some of them to do it in a jingle dress, but that's okay is the crow hop. It was asked that a crow hop was sung for them. However, we will let them demonstrate what they learned in that crow hop for one push up, one start, 
after that one start has been complete, we will ask all other dancers to join them. All right, everybody spread out in a nice big circle. All right, spread out in a nice big circle. And as soon as we're done this, we're going to continue on with intertribal dancing until it's time for the payouts. We're supposed to be out of here around 8 o'clock-ish, just to let you all know. So, hey, whole league, come over here, look. What's your name? Come here. Come here. Come over here. Yeah, right there. Okay, you over here. There we go. Nice. That's better. That's better. Now people can see you. Curly, have you been working with them? Oh, and uh, Mr. Curly Musso has also contributed to the Powell Club, and he made some of the fans for some of the Jingle Dress dancers. So let's give him a nice big round of applause. Yay! All right, dancers, after the first push-up is done, all dancers are welcome to come and join them. All right? So after the first push-up. Okay, 
Hey, Dana, you got a song over there? All drum groups, I'd like to ask you kindly to please be respectful and do not hit your drums when other drums are singing. Thank you very much. Redstone Juniors, Mr. Dana and the boys. All right, we're going to continue on with intertribal dancing until I get the high sign for the payouts. I was trying to find a poster, but do we have a poster? Oh, hey, Dana, the mic is there. Let me hear it. Inner Trouble, you are on the air. travel time we only got a few to do before we have to do our payout so get up and dance while you can it's gonna be a short and sweet evening
Anybody missing an earring? Take a look at your ears, ladies. Oh, hi, all right. Oi, earlier I called these guys Buffalo Red Thunder, but I believe it's Black Bear Standing. Is that right, Pete? All right. Oi, so I'm taking a look. At, wait, 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 wait. Where's Corey? Oi, we're going to start doing our payouts right after this song. All right, Tiny Tots, stand by, Melvin, you're going to get that first one. We're going to see how much dancers we have. If we have to, you'll get Tiny Tots. And if we have to, we'll do an inner tribal in between, depending on how long the line is. All right? So Tiny Tots, stand by, and I also have an earring. Who is missing an earring? Take a look at your ears. Your earring is missing. If it was plugged in your ears where you can't hear, you'll be able to hear me now. All right, Pete, we good to go. Let's sing them a good song. Final Inner Tribal. Once again, all Tiny Tots stand by. All Tiny Tots stand by. Check one, two, hey! Goodness. Okay, clear the dancing area. All tiny tots make your way to the dancing area. Six and under. All tiny tots. Okay, let's do tiny tots and juniors. Yeah? 
Okay, we only have three tiny tots. So juniors, boys and girls, come on out. You're going to dance with the tiny tots. Juniors, boys and girls, 12 and under. All 12 and under, come on out. We only have three registered dancers in a tiny tot category, and I only see one. Just a reminder, you will have to be in an outfit in order to receive an honorarium. So you're gonna follow Uncle Wayne. Following the juniors, we are gonna go into the teen category. So teen category, stand by. Brown Bear, you're gonna have that song. And then uh, we're gonna go into the adult women. We might have to do an inner tribal in between paying out just in case we have a long lineup to pay out. Okay, we are good to go. Don't forget to dance hard. Melvin Starr and the boys, Winnipeg's oldest drum group, First Nation singers. Hey, that's a true story. All right, go ahead. Winnipeg's North End's finest right there. All right, guys, dance hard. Okay, freeze! I want everybody to follow Uncle Wayne. Walk. All teen girl categories combined. I'd like for you to make your way out to the dancing area. All teen girls. All teen boys be on standby.
Okay, come on over here. Over here. Follow Uncle Wayne. You know what? We're going to do hoop. Hoop dancers, listen up. This is the way it's going to go, singers, so you listen up too. We're going to go with the teen boys right here. All combined category adult women right here. All combined adult male right here. And then the hoop dancers will be right after all the categories have been done. That'll give our men time to go get their honorarium, come back and pick up their staff. And we'll see who uh, the hoop dancers want to use. But for right now, I'm probably going to say it's guess to who. It's safe to say that our first one, two, three. Uh, you know, I don't want to do that. I don't know how long the hoop dance is going to take. So, Aaron, are you going to dance hoops? Yes? No? Constance? So, okay. So, right after the adult male dancers, okay? They got like four, three songs. So, one, two, three, and then they got lots of time to get ready. Okay, Wayne, how we doing? We got two. Hey, where's, uh, where's that little guy? Austin, there we go. He's going to He's come and dance with you guys just so you guys don't feel alone. All right? I asked them to come and dance. Hi. All right, Sage Creek, you got a song? The mic is there, you are on the air. Make them dance. Hey. Would you like to say anything today? Ever sick, leave me alone.
Let's have a nice big round of applause for all our lady dancers. And if you can, I'd like to ask you to turn your recorders off. Do not, I repeat, do not film this because it is part of a ceremony. That was call number one.
All right, that was our fourth and final call. Report to your drum, Andy McKay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's okay to show a little bit of love and a little bit of noise. This is our hoop dancers. Give them a round of applause. All right, Chaz, give them a beat. That was number two, be on standby, Mr. P.D. Parisian and the boys.
we're going to close it out. Walking Wall Singers, and thank you all for coming out to this year's celebration of 2017 graduation power right here at Lewis.